Minecraft 1.19 has been announced. It's gonna be called the the Wild Update. There will be some new mobs added, like tadpoles, fireflies, and the fro these are the frogs. Like, okay, let me find a photo of them. Right here, like this. There will be different kinds of them for each biome. So, these are like the original ones, and then there is the tropical frogs, and these are going to be the ones that go that go around in the in the snow biomes, you know. So based on like the temperature or biome, it's gonna be it's gonna be like that. The frogs eat the fireflies that spawn around, and there'll be add and there'll be some other things added like boats. You can place boats on chests, and you can and you can sail around. So like this could be useful for I don't know. Maybe moving somewhere else, you know. If you want to make build another house somewhere else, you gotta bring your the materials you had from your old house to the new one. So it could work like that. It's gonna. And then there's the mangrove tree, and it's gonna it's gonna look like this. So this is a man. It's kind of like a, the sapling for it. So there's gonna be new trees added. And uh, this next clip, this is how it looks like. So it has like some vines at the bottom that grow out, and then it'll be like a new type of wood. There'll be a new type of wood that'll show a bit. Yeah, the mangrove, the mangrove wood type. It kind of reminds me. I think this is junk Acadia wood kind of thing. It gives me that kind of. It has that kind of look to me. So it'll be for every kind of wooden uh, item. So buttons, trap doors, you know, do actual doors, that kind of thing. So I, I'm wondering, since every door in Minecraft has a different design, I wonder how the mangrove trees will look like when they when they get shown off or released. And this will be the new biome. I it's an, it's the mangrove swamp. And this is one of the places, I think this is one of the places where the orange frogs will spawn. And it has the, all the mangrove trees, and there's a new block coming. And they have their own watercolor as well, which is pretty cool. And this block that was around here is this. You can create renewable mud and clay as well. So all you have to do is just get a bottle of water and place it and like, you know, empty it out on a dirt block and it'll turn into this muddy kind of thing. It's re you can make renewable clay by, you know, the you can make dripstone blocks and then you can make the dripstone hanging down from it, which will make the water you know, like, drip through the... The water from the mud drip through the dripstone. Or, yeah, dripstone, I think that's the name. It'll drip through. It'll kind of, like, dry it up in a way and make clay. So it's like a really simple recipe. All you need is water, uh, dripstone, and dirt. And also glass, though, to make the bottles. And then there's gonna be mud bricks, a new block added to Minecraft. So this, since there are many homes built with mud bricks, uh, they thought it would be a good idea to add them because it would make uh, houses look more diverse, you know. And it's gonna have a different texture compared to the to the stone bricks already added to the game. Yeah, like I told you earlier, there was these frogs here, sandy frogs, the orange frogs, and then there's uh, the snowy frog, and that's pretty much the whole update. I'll probably make another video about skulk sensors and the warden, because just if you haven't watched the live stream from Minecraft's live stream, you 
you would have seen, you would have seen like uh, a, another structure added to Minecraft for the warden. So this has been the Minecraft Wild update. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the video. So comment down below if you like the update, because I really like it. Because adding many new mobs is pretty cool. How it works, you know? They croak, they jump around. It's pretty nice. So yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.